Hey Bourbon Real Talk family, Randy Sullivan here. I want to do a quick video for you on chill filtration. So a lot of our bottles these days have a little label on them that say non-chill filtered. Some people get excited about that. So let's talk about what it is, what it does. So chill filtration is basically a process that they put the whiskey through where they chill it down to somewhere around zero degrees. And that causes any fats, any lipids that are in the whiskey to congeal and then they are able to filter that stuff out because now they're in larger chunks basically and the reason why they do it it's almost purely cosmetic if you take a whiskey that has not been chill filtered and it gets cooled down either because it's in an environment that's cold like maybe you live up north or maybe just poured it over ice or something like that or you put in cold water it will cloud the whiskey up and that's what they call product separation and a lot of brands don't want that to happen to their whiskey because people associate it with the whiskey being damaged. And that's likely because old whiskeys that have not been stored properly or the cork failed will also cloud up, but they taste terrible. And so people think that if they see a whiskey that's cloudy, that it means that it probably tastes bad and that's not the case. So I've heard two different scenarios. So you don't have to worry about product separation as a whiskey company if the alcohol content of your whiskey is high enough because the alcohol works as a solvent and keeps the the congealing process from happening. I've heard two different percentages. So the distiller that makes Charbet whiskey from San Francisco, I was listening to a, a podcast with him, and he said that at 95.8 proof is where you can experience product separation but I've heard another number as low as 86 proof that you shouldn't have to worry about product separation. A lot of people will say that these elements that are being removed from the whiskey through the chill filtration process don't affect the whiskey's flavor. A lot of people think that it does. A lot of people like to talk about how oily a whiskey is and it's going to be less oily if you, you know, remove those elements through chill filtration. And so I've heard about some blind studies that they've done where you can tell, you can't tell, whatever. Personally, I like everything that's natural in my whiskey, so I prefer a non-chill filled whiskey, filtered whiskey. Now, what I will tell you that's very interesting is that most of the time you're seeing chill filtered whiskeys unless they're above 100 proof. And there's one brand out there, or one company that has started releasing all of their whiskeys non-chill filtered, and that it, are the brands the MGPI have started. So Rossville Union and the Remus line, Aiton Sands, all of those brands are non-chill filtered. And that's actually pretty uncommon for a large producer to have a non-chill filtered whiskey because Aiton Sands is all the way down to that 86 proof. And so they're in their view, they're willing to risk a product separation that's going to cause a consumer to think that there might be something wrong with the whiskey in exchange for keeping those lipids in there, which they think are adding flavor. So I just thought that was very interesting that there was such a huge brand producing so much whiskey that's releasing it non-chill filtered when almost all the major brands are chill filtering everything that's below 100 proof. So anyway, hope that helps you out. If you have any question, questions, throw them in the comments below.